remember we've talked about Abraham and Abraham had a son called Isaac. Well, this is Isaac and remember he was married to Rebecca and they were married for, I think it was like 20 years and then they were able to have children. And not just only did they have a child, but they had twins and one was called Jacob and the other was called Esau. Now, even when these little boys were in the womb of Rebecca, they were even wrestling and fighting. And Esau was the oldest son, and as he was being delivered, while he was being born, Jacob literally held on to his ankle and tried to pull him back as if he could overtake him. And they were both twins. There was a, a difference because Jacob looked like a, a normal child. He had a smooth skin. But Esau, the older boy, when he was born, his body was already completely covered in hairs and was hairy. And that's how you could tell the difference. And I'm a twin. I'm the older. I, I'm, um, my younger brother's called Edwin and I, I'm 25 minutes older than him. So there's lots of twins in the Bible and also today. And as the boys grew up, there was a difference between them. Esau, the older boy, uh, he liked to live outdoors and he liked to hunt. He liked to take his bow and his arrow and he liked to live in the woods, in the forest and spend most of his time in the outdoors. And Jacob, on the other hand, he preferred to be around the home. He liked to help his mother, Rebecca, and when she was cooking, he would help cook. And around the farm, he would, he would help with the sheep and with the animals, but it always seemed to be around the home and as they were growing up, the mother seemed to favour Jacob more and the father Isaac seemed to favour Esau more. Now naturally, whenever uh, children were born in Bible times, <clears throat> the older son, he would naturally inherit the, the, the farm or the livestock or the birthright. But the, and the youngest son would not inherit that. Now, whenever one day they were right uh, in the fields, um, Jacob was busy cooking, helping his mum, and Esau was hunting. And Esau came back and he was absolutely starving. He was hungry. And he asked Jacob, his brother, can you please give me some food? And Jacob said, no, well, I'm, I'm busy preparing lunch. And he said, give me some food now. And Jacob said, what will you give me? And Esau, I'll give you anything you want. I'm so hungry, I'm going to die of starvation. Do you ever feel like that? You're so hungry, you're going to die of starvation. You're not really, but you're just so hungry. That's the way you feel. Sometimes I'm driving home, and I know Joanna has got dinner ready for me, and I'm so hungry, I actually stop at the shop and buy something to eat. Don't tell her that, by the way, but that's the way I feel. So I can relate to Joseph. When your mind is set on food, you have to eat food. And sometimes you would visit someone just to get food. But here was Jacob. And he said, no, the food's not ready. You must wait till lunchtime. And Esau said, give me food. And Jacob said, what would you give me? And Jacob said, give me your birthright. The birthright. Now the birthright was something that the eldest son was entitled to. That meant whenever his father died, the eldest son would naturally inherit everything the father owned. And Jacob was saying, give me your birthright and I'll give you a bowl of soup. A bowl of soup or stew for his birthright. And Esau was so hungry, he thought he was going to die of starvation. He said, if you want the birthright, you take the birthright. Do you know before these boys were born, God said to their mother, Rebecca, the older, will serve the younger. That was not natural, but that was God's plan. And God knew this was going to happen in his perfect wisdom. So Jacob quickly made the soup give it to Esau, he gulped the soup down into him and he was satisfied and as a result, just for that one bowl of soup he gave away his birthright. Now not only did the birthright mean inheriting the farm, but it also meant a special spiritual um, thing that God gave to the people a blessing, because God was going to bless Abraham and through his son he was going to bless Isaac and now through his son he was going to bless Jacob and upon their children there's going to be as many children as there is sand in the seashore that meant that through their line eventually would come the Messiah would come the Lord Jesus Christ and then everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ and gets saved becomes a Christian they naturally inherit the blessing of being a child of God and right across the whole world since Christ has come and all the believers before Christ there is many children 
as there are sand in the seashore. It's a wonderful family and I'm part of that family and I wonder today, are you part of that family, part of God's family? But this here is going to cause a big problem. Because of what happened here, these two boys are going to fall out, they're going to become angry and Jacob is going to spend many years running away from his brother and you can trace it right back to this problem when he saw because he was hungry he gave away his birthright and Jacob was going to take it, take it from him by, turn, by, by paying a terrible trick and we're going to find out exactly what Jacob done to take away the birthright of his brother Esau. Thank you.